And once you're out on lawn like this, you're probably staying there. Like, falling back now on the T side is going to be very, very hard to do. Did also get to see that new boost coming in, where you can, you know, self-boost up there. Obviously, the new True, yes. update, so that's always interesting. But they've thrown the smoke for the cross. The bomb is kind of there. Donk is checking out Upper Dark, so he's going to absolutely confirm there's no one that signed it. It starts terribly right for the smoke. It's Sontex who's going to be taking down Keto to begin with. So already there are a man down, and that bomb plant is still not happening. Yeah, it's quite cagey, but it looks like the bomb will be planted here. Nexius will find them uh, equalizing frag at the same time. Minutes to go and C4 down. So actually a slight advantage here towards OG. Uh, they've still got 100 HP on the majority of their outfit. And we'll see now Modo being challenged as the players start to swing in from Gandalf. Bomb is ticking. This is definitely getting a bit more interesting now. Looking for the headshot. Modo's going to get one of them there. Thomas still alive in the back. The only player left in a one versus Yo. three. And a great flick coming out from Thomas. He's looking for more headshots. He runs out of bullets, but... Oh, the kid has been picked up again. Shiro, it's right in front of him. If that kid had been further away, there would have been a way maybe for Thomas to win the round. But in this case, it'll be the defuse and Spirit winning the pistol. Hey, it's going to be a guaranteed force by for OG here. Four Galils and a pistol for Tito. As they challenge towards Long once again. Nice grenade from Shot by does significant damage. Takes out in-game leader and stand-in. Thomas as uh, it's a nice early advantage. I Anderson mentioned, do not need a boost up there anymore. So you can be very nimble on the CT side. You can see you get two players up there quickly after you get the advantage down towards long reposition without having to go up the ramp and being vulnerable to players in the pit. It does actually change some part of the map quite a bit. So curious to see how that'll play out in the long run oh, here. Sontix looks like the timing is great for him. Next, he was, he was kind of looking lower dark and upper dark at the same time. A little bit too much to cover and he ends up going down. So now it's a five versus three. Smoke drop for the cross. It is a bit of a classic, but again, it's very, very telegraphed. Just like in the pistol round, like you said, everyone here on the spirit side knows what is coming next. And they're kind of getting, they're just getting picked apart before they even get close to the bomb site here. There's going to be a distinct lack of respect here from Spirit, especially when they build up momentum. A map like Dust 2 as well, where you can take a lot of duels, and it's not a very technical map in terms of the, the tactics. Uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of these sort of rounds. And now, a spotless one in number two. That was a force fight. They barely do any damage on the OG side. The bomb's not planted. It's pretty much full eco territory coming up next. A few pistols can be brought in. The problem is those happen to be two of the absolute best maps for Spirit. So even <laughs> if you picked us too, like, there's not many teams that can take them down in this particular map. Uh, so like we said, it's uh, pretty much full eco here. Some deagles. No Kevlar and no grenades. As you see Shiro opening things up. A spectacular little sequence there from Short. Finds a double headshot. The players in more lower B, and he's going for the hat trick here as well. It just looks way too comfortable. First ace of the tournament in round number three, Anders. <laughs> yeah, you'll take it. And uh, you know what? I, I I typically say this. If you aren't a better team, you should be playing with a lot of, lack of respect because it's going to make it harder for OG to do anything, right? What is it with Romania and making offers? There's Modo, there's Cello, yeah, Anna true. over at the women's scene. Like They've got a, a knack for creating good snipers, I guess. This is the mid to B smoke. Going out from short. Nice little Molotov. Doesn't quite touch Shiro. So he's looking to backstab here momentarily. So I like the idea from OG here. It's classic. It's effective. And I think Shiro is about to go down from top and middle. Oh, there it is. Nice work for Thomas. Yeah, good trade. Shiro down and out of the round after his ace in the previous one. Okay. Four versus four, and about 30 seconds left. They're running a little bit low on time here. If they want to go check out the catwalk, they, they, they're going to they're gonna be cutting it low on this one. There's still time. It's okay. The, the problem is, Anders, we've only got a, a couple of flashes remaining. That is about it. It's going to have to be one hell of a flash here. I guess, fortunately, it's the Galil for Magics here. So here we go. Here comes the cross. The problem is it's a bit of a shooting gallery now for Chopper, and he's cutting them down to size with that Galil. Nine seconds remaining, they're locked out. I don't think they can go for it. They can see that they, they, they were in two minds about where they wanted to go with that one. It was a mid-split to start off with. As soon as they lost one player, though, tried to recalibrate, get up towards short, but this didn't really have the utility nor the firepower to really do anything with it. So it's unfortunate, but just to, just to shout that one out, just to let you know, this one could be a quick one. So bear that in mind. It's possible. We have yet to see anything from OG that proves otherwise they're going to have to... Show something here. Mono, just keep it simple. Long spawns, go with those picks, get basic long control, pull back into the A side. And that's all that's required here. And that's a nice opening kill. Fiku with the positioning. And I think Magics. I think actually Magix was baited into that because you heard the shot, right? Yeah, right. Smoke was up. He's like, oh, they're still not even out. There's just the orb waiting. Uh, the linchpin of this is Shiro. Boosted up. This is a great call. 
I feel like he's going to dominate this one, Anders. He's going to be getting multiple frags here. Nice and send ready to set them up. This is the first shot. Okay, an, ex an access point for OG here. And the grenade, actually, they don't do nearly enough damage. I thought the grenade might have been able to almost kill Nexus there, but somehow they go a little bit too far. That's interesting. Okay, so a uh, slight chance here to maybe set something up. A grenade lands on top. It's a Molotov, and it burns them heavily, but the bomb is still planted here. Thomas will go down, and now there's a potential flank coming in. Oh, that could be huge. A double kill here might just seal the round for OG. It's going to be Nexus to take one, but they're right in front of Kido. He keeps pushing forward. Oh, they're in the smoke now. They just escaped him, but he's still going to be good for the one spray down, leaving Shiro on his own. He's found inside of the smoke by Fiku, and OG survived the round. And that sends him packing. That's actually so significant against the M4s as well. That's three players now in one tap territory. That's... Let's see if they can recover. It's like a pixel from being a really good opening, and it is anyway. Donk actually wanted to push forward, and Thomas smartly waiting for him. So, quick trade comes in, but it was four versus four. So, we'll take that on the T side, no question about it. Shiro, you could see on the comms, making quite a bit of noise here. Calling it out what's happening on the other side. Smoke up, and... Is he going to be able to get the timing down? He does see it, and it will be a powerful leg shot. Keto, lucky to live behind that one. But up at the bomb site, it's Magics. He's going to get grenaded one way or another. Chopper is there to try and help him out. He's done some significant okay. damage, and they might not check for Chopper now. Yeah, really nice bait for Chopper. Like, you're probably not even considering that as a threat at this point. And bear in mind, they're so weak making their way to this site. Sam Thomas had a really difficult shot with the AWP. Now already misses out on it, Anders, and it's going to be a three versus one. Fiku, almost zero chance of winning this one. It's going to take something quite special. That is not it, as uh, we will see Team Spirit back to their winning ways and post a 5-1 scoreline here. No bomb planted, no weapon saved. Uh, suggests it could be a bit of a rough one to close this half out. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty good round from OG in terms of like, they managed to get a four and four situation. They, they had some space to... Executing towards A, but this great bait from Magix. He took so much aggro here. You're just not expecting Chopper. It wasn't the force in the previous round. It was a hero AK. So Nexus would be down to the Galil. But this is that kind of lack of respect play we've been talking about. You got Shiro pushing off towards short. Donk in lower B. Not giving them anything to work with here. And it's Donk. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious oh me. God. He was he just know. going for body shots there. And he gets a double headshot down towards lower. Oh, the eight. I don't think he knew. I I don't think his brain registered that there was a second player. <laughs> like, he did a double take after the headshot. He was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that's so sick. All right, well, that, that's the round. <laughs> it was a quick one. Amazing fundamentals. You have to have the solid flashbangs at the start. You need to be super patient. Let them expend their initial utility. Then you've got a Molotov lower beam from top of the middle. Then you've got a flash short. Get lower together. Uh, you can't really allow Dom to have those sort of opportunities to win those duels. Speaking of duels, we've got Fiku actually doing a pretty admirable job holding onto his AK-47. That's about the best news I can bring to you here. Might be able to get another one. AK-47 eludes him this time. There we get seven to one. A couple of kills doesn't really do much for him. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, he was not ready for a second. That, uh, yeah, he's like, okay, yeah. He, he's gonna be He knows. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's see what can be done. AK-47's out once again. Spoke towards double doors to kick things off there. It's uh, the current meta. Look at this. And here comes that aggression once again. He's not ready up. for it. Yeah, it's so sick. With the flashes as well. Chopper and Dunk will trade a couple of kills there. It's a good return, though. Yeah, very nice. Moto. That's respectable. Yeah, we'll take that all day long. Lost the first couple of kills. It's 10 here. Three on three. Keto low. Still got some decent utility here for Magics. It's on the prowl with Shiro. Running blood in the water here. Wounded Keto's top right and mid. Got a full belt of utility as well. If he goes down, you only drop one grenade. It'd be pretty massive to find him. And he is spotted. Contact found, but it's magic that takes the majority of damage there. So an A split coming forward. There's Keto going down eventually. That's on it. Zontix to find him. And now Shiro to fend off the last two remaining players. He hasn't really missed a shot thus far. Continues with that trend here. Lovely kill towards Nexius. And now it's Modo, as mentioned, at one kill going for this round. I doubt he's going to be the hero here this time behind the car. And beheaded by Shiro with the Desert Eagle. The flashbangs are so suffocating. Like, yeah. even in the one versus three at the end there. The heavy artillery, the AK-47, the little for Nexius. Tech 9, Komodo, I think is calling this mid-splits at this point. That, that's all you really can hope to do, just like group up together, 
nothing else is working. You, you're unable to contain their aggression. When they run the passive setups, you're not really dislodging them. Chop a nice little off angle here as well. Should be getting this kill all day long. And it's the mid split we go. Donk down. Three on three once again. Oh, it's such a brutal May from Chopper. He's in the zone right now. That's a perfect play. And two players left up against Zontic City with that B bomb site. He still has his incendiary as well, but he's just playing for one kill, which is literally all he has to do. Okay, Modo, kind of a sick kill. Didn't have the advantage in that fight whatsoever. And now a chance at the round ambits. Yeah, one of the best chances they've had yet here to actually pick up a rifle round. Going to be going for the bomb plant. Kido is waiting. That smoke is going to fade in not too long. And there's plenty of grenades on the spirit side, at least enough to flash their way through the window and get a little bit of damage in. Kido, close to getting that headshot, but not quite there yet. Modo still just with the Tech-9, so you never really know here. It's Spirit lining up for the retake, and Chopper is very low already. It's Magix, he's going to get one of them there. Looking for Modo in the corner, and you'll find him as well. Such a great chance for a round, but it will be Spirit to pick it up after all. Yep, good try. Unfortunately, there's nothing that positive to report about it unless they win the round. I suppose getting the bomb plant, it does guarantee at least money for this final round coming up here, but they really desperately needed to win that one. You're not going to be damaging the economy of the CTs, of course. They are high rolling and then some. Uh, but still, the closest they've come to a round, I suppose, since the one they picked up. That was the only reason it actually worked in their favor. That's a hell of a kill, one he probably shouldn't be getting. But they still can't pick up the round. Double digits early on here. This best of three series. First map, Spirit are officially on fire. It's the final round here. It's going for B rush, Anders. Yeah. It's old school, sometimes can't be effective, though. There's the first two kills. Yeah, I like it. I wish they would have done this earlier. I think it's just, uh, you know, if you do this like three or four rounds, you have a chance to win at least one or two of them, and maybe that's worth it. Fiku's going to be taking down Chopper, and they're a little bit delayed, but they should be able to get the bomb plant afterwards. So all in all, you know, it's not tactically the most exciting, but if it wins you the round, then who cares? You know, ducking in the corner. They do have a Molotov, so they can try and burn him out anyway, but um, a very tough retake here for the two on three. I don't think they're going to be favored in this one, Spirit. Shiro looking at Make it a quick two on two, and he can with a headshot on the Kido. A little bit overkill with the AWP, but whatever, we'll get the job done. Next, he is just covering from the high ground here or the upper dark position. Fiko gets one, and they will take a second round at the end. Not bad. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. Down but not out. OG will be posting two rounds on their map pick. We'll see if they can pull it back in the second. For OG, they did get the last round under their belt with a B rush. Like you said, maybe just do a few more of those. Could have been better, but. Uh... We'll see if they can win a much-needed pistol here. It's next year's an old classic position here. You normally open, you get a couple of kills. There's the first. He's not being Molotov down, and Thomas is stepping up as well. So, like I said, a must-win pistol. It's looking good, but Team Spirit clawing their way back into it. And that's definitely the C4 going down here. Uh, the retake will be somewhat problematic. I don't see a kit out on the pitch. So, uh... Shiro and a bit of a freebie there. Should still have the advantage in the crawling department. We'll see where he comes out on top here. P250 doesn't feel like the best weapon for the job at that sort of range. Driver after Glock. Speaking of which, his Glock starting to strike. Blink and you miss it. It was 5 on 3 at one point, but Spirit slowly but surely got their way back into it. Found the gap at the map there. A massive hole exploited. The fact they got up towards Shore, bomb planted it with no resistance whatsoever. And uh, it is going to be another round going in favor of Spirit. Of course, the force buy here, you, you kind of need this round. You can't really yeah. allow it to go 12 to 2, guaranteed. So, see what they can make of it. Scout, bit of an icon on Dust 2. Just need a few tags, just need the kills, and set up the pistols, the deagles especially, and some one taps. Well, let's have a look. It's a wide open B bomb site right now. Uh, it might be the worst possible outcome here for OG. You just have to save your pistols and the bomb gets planted. Modo will have to do something spectacular here. The shot doesn't connect. Second one does. 91 towards Zontix. Make it 100. Gives him something to work with here. Bomb going down. He still is continuing to cause a bit of a nuisance here. Two players tagged at this point. I guess he'll be making that call. If they can find one more frag, it might be worth going for. But now Donk's in the flank as well. That you really have your work cut out for you. Nexius has found a gap. No one's looking at tunnels, guys. Oh, that's careful. You don't blow yourself up. Two versus one now. And then they all find the shot in the corner. Look at their health left here at the end. 
Okay. Gonna go straight for it. And even without the kit, it looks like it's doable. So wow. All right. That's a that's a strange round. Obviously, I've got a bad feeling about it. I still think Sphere are gonna win this, but that is a weird round to lose. Like that and the setup you had and like just that oversight of not clearing tunnels. I feel like this could be a much more competitive game now. We'll see how it unfolds, but uh, don't lose this round. Not a good start for the likes of Thomas. He's holding towards long, and they've got lots of territory now as well. They're going to try and pincer in towards the A side here. Thankfully, they work together, isolate the pressure towards short, and now they can alleviate some of it towards long as well. Bear in mind they've got no Kevlar here. They've got an M4 in the hands of Shiro Shaw, but they don't have any grenades to really work with it. So this is going to rot the clock a little bit, see if any CTs will offer themselves up. Still, very winnable round here for OG, no question about it. 18 seconds left, then four versus four, sneaking out. Shiro's going to get that kill. Okay, it gets a bit more interesting now. They're all very low on the spirit side. So again, it should be OG winning this round, but there is a bit of a question mark. Donk will hit another shot this time on Kido to bring him down. And How low they are. Yeah, they have Fiku with the kit, but this is really a bit of a problem now. <laughs> he said, don't get donk, Anders. I think, unfortunately, that has happened. It's a hat trick for one of the world's best makers, the quad kill. Desert Eagle, no armor, nothing for raw frags and a headshot to kick things off towards Thomas Henry, as well. That... And that was the eco. That was Glocks and a single decal, I think. That means they won the that they won that round over at BOG just to just to make things uh... even more upsetting. Like it actually emotionally takes even more damage. You're like, oh, damn, why did we do that if we can't win? Against Donk, four kills with the Beagle. Like, he plays it very well. But it's just so much pressure being applied. As soon as Thomas goes down and they get so much control, they find the smoke from Thomas's corpse as well. Scout still on Moto. If he could do what he did the other round and get a bunch of tags, that's probably the, the way to get into this one. We'll see if Spirit are going to be a little bit quicker. Last time they were a bit slow and that allowed the Scout to do no, more damage. Well, he got the tag anyway, but. Thing is, he got three tags before. Yeah. Now it's one and done, but no frag found. Destroy the Nexus, though. The problem is he's very low. Can't challenge for the trade on towards Chopper. Man advantage still sick of Team Spirit. 12-3, map point. Three more kills away from pretty comfortable procedure here on Dust 2. A bit of a gap. Noise being made, though, and Donk more than ready for it. The master of spray control. Looks like we're done, Anders. We've got a four versus one. And ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick things off here at the Blast Premier Full Groups. It's the first map of Team Spirit with an absolute masterclass in their opponent's pick. They post 12 to 3 here on Dust 2. As uh, we get ready, Chopper setting up the utility. Play down and towards Underpass as well. That'll be Magix just trying to take a bit of attention here, but he gets a lot more than he bargained for. Nice shot from Modo. That's going to be the commitment in towards B. Flashbang goes over, and in we go. They can win the pistol round. That'd be huge news, but they need to defend this bomb site. Sontik's already taken down one. Nice shot from Fiku. Can he land under the headshot before he runs out of bullets? Now he's reloading, and they're trying to hunt him down while he's in the middle of that reload. It's a smart idea, and it will be Shiro to pick up the kill on Fiku. We really did try to dance around there while the reload was happening, the best that he probably could have there, but the bomb has been planted, so half the job's already done for Spirit. And Thomas is very low on health here. Kido, if he wants to improve those stats, this is one of the rounds to maybe do it in, but he can't find the headshot against Sontix. And it leaves Thomas alone and on just four health here. I don't think it's worth it. You're not going to get back into this one. Just get the smoke and get out. He's hoping for a headshot there, but Sontix will take him down and it will be Spirit to pick up the pistol. Well, well, well. It was a good try there. Couple of key jewels not going in favor of OG. Slowly but surely, Spirit broke through. It all started here. They had the man advantage. The motor's nice shot towards the underpass. Fiku did well. He was tenacious, but couldn't find enough damage to really slow them down. And once the bomb was planted, it was a three versus two in favor of Team Spirit. In game leader Chopper will be waiting towards top and middle. Two teammates towards Palace. The bomb at the A ramp. CTC more than ready for this, though. They've got the man advantage. Time's still there for Spirit, looking to find three rounds in a row here. Got to convert this round for OG. Got nothing done on Dust2 whatsoever. Let's see if they can break through here. Thomas maintains a man advantage here. It's not looking too bad. Kido will get traded right away, but with only 30 seconds and in a two versus four, it's a winnable round. Thomas does get grenaded. Unfortunately, he was very low on health. So a quick two versus three instead, but they're still finding it hard to put this bomb down. They're just not covering enough of the map at the moment. Shiro is going to get dropped, and it leaves Magic's 18 seconds, one versus three with the bomb out in the open air. 
it just doesn't seem doable whatsoever. So there might have been a chance here, OG. Not too bad if they can pick this one up. It's at least a start. Yeah, he's going to pick up the AWP and try to even carry it on into the next round. So OG are on the board early on. I like that. Yeah, well done. Vito getting a couple of kills there as well. So stepping up. No one really got going on Dust2 whatsoever. So that's how it all started. Zontix is trying to make the contact play at the start. First gun round. Catch him off guard. Doesn't work out for him. And uh, then it's going to be Akito and co capitalizing upon that amount of advance. Nice shot sure from Odo. Glass cannon all bear in mind as well. Makes it work here. There's a vote available on Blast TV. Can OG bring this to Ancient? What would you vote? And there's surely or nope, no chance. I'm shocked that there's a 28% chance for surely. I really am, but... Um... <laughs> surely they can. Hey, they're optimistic over that. Some real copium going they're on. Trying to, they're trying to manifest it. True. Yeah, well, that's that might be what's happening here. To be honest, if they win this round, though, it, it does get a little bit more interesting, right? They're, they're going to have a chance to finally have a little bit of breathing room. Spirit will be out of money, and an OG can actually maybe have like a what feels like an easier round on their hands, so they should be able to. Let's see whether that comes through. He has got a bit of backup coming through, though, so it should be absolutely fine. It's going to be Nexius making his way towards that B bomb site. Slowly does it. Zon ticks. Back there in fact, they're in the bomb site now. Magic's deadly in these sort of scenarios. Can't find the frags, but Fiku certainly can. B defense holds on once more. And it's going to be Shiro to save the AWP. And it looks like we've got a 2 2 scoreline. OG. Got as many rounds as they did on Dust 2. Very early on in their CT campaign. We'll take that all day long. Shiro might go down here. Have to be a hell of a spam at this point. No, oh, just one damage. But uh, they knew where he, where he was. Well done. Does go down or they find a pick. He can be upgraded to a natural soldier on the battlefield after that. We'll see whether it's going to be a worthwhile investment. That's the thing. If you can just find him a pick, get him a, a rifle in hand, it's going to be quite difficult to deal with. And there it is, Anders. Now he's got the rifle and the Kevlar. All of a sudden, this round has got a lot more deadly. Yes, it did. Sontik's also somewhere in the back with a deagle, so... Don't count him out, or oh, maybe so. Mode, Moto's gonna be hitting a kill on Donk. This one's not too bad right now. The return is there for OG. Started to fight their way back. Shiro gets another one, and Chopper this time with a headshot. Taking down Thomas, and suddenly, it's a two versus three, and a bit of a nightmare here for OG. I Just... still believe. I think this might be fine. No, maybe not anymore. <laughs> okay, it's actually going wrong. Moto will have to step up here. He's got Kevlar this time, and two players to find. It's Magix and Chopper, though. They are low, but that doesn't really help him with the AWP in hand. He has no kits, no utility, oh. running out of time. Slowly starting to peel off. He doesn't fancy his chances here. And he won't be considering the backstab from Chopper. Oh, that's the round they couldn't afford to lose. The, the glo three Glocks, a Deagle, and an AWP. Like we said with uh, Donk with the Kevlar as well. It just made it so much more potent. He could upgrade it to the M4. As soon as he's got the opening kill. And then the round just unravels in front. Them. Shiro continues to find those kills. Chop up a nice headshot. Modo did fight back somewhat. But overall, three of fours, AWP, and uh, some nice fancy footwork to get some short control at the start of the round at least. But that's actually such a disappointing round because that, that would have been the chance there for OG to really start to roll some rounds in their favor. But they are playing this on hard mode at the moment. Sontix will take down Keto to begin with. Again, he doesn't get that much done here. Thomas getting shot in the side. They were pushing through the smoke, and I think you could see the frustration on Thomas' face there. He's like, why am I having to cover both the A-Ramp and the connector at the same time? What on earth is going on? Just Fiku on his own. Trying to see if he could save the M4. That is the best-case scenario right now, but... <laughs> I'm sure the orbs are yeah. there as well. Like, don't be wrong. It's Shiro on an orb and Glocks. Like, that's still deadly, but... Yeah, like, you do need those rounds to go in your favor. A lot of one-way traffic ever since then. They don't save anything, so uh, that's eco-territory. They're averaging $2,000 per player going to the next round, currently down 4-2. to two. They're kind of letting you just kind of stew in it for a while here. You're down, you're losing the game, and you're not getting any real fights. Looks like OG might want to try and collapse on the middle. Yeah, they're going to flash their way over to try and take a peek. It's not a bad idea. And with the combination of the flash and the M4 on Moto, they're going to get the kill on the Shiro, so... It's a pretty decent start here. Let's see if they can get back onto the A-bomb side without losing too many players. It's risky when you're rotating back in like that and you don't have control of the A-ramp, but so far so good. They've only killed Keto with the NHE, so I think this is actually looking like a really good round. Yeah. Uh, they've played very patiently. 
they should be rewarded for it as well. It's going to be Chopper looking for the double kill. Oh, goodness gracious. He actually pulls it off. 13 seconds is now down to Magic to try and make this round a reality. He needs to find a quick kill on the side if he can. They've got the bomb. Can it even be planted, Anders? I don't think it can. I think it's after. I don't think it goes down here. Yeah. He was stuck, unfortunately, being held by Fiku. He, he couldn't easily run out of that connector. And with the bomb the whole time. Wow, that's pretty shocking. But again, if he would have got the bomb, if he had one more second, he plants the bomb. Literally. And it could be a lost round for OG in spite of a great start there. So kind of scary. The fact that it's a four on two, though, and it actually goes down to a 2v1 and you win on the clock. Like, is a sigh of relief more than a celebration. True. Um, so, yeah, uh, round one for sure. You get 32.50 per player, though, by winning by virtue of frags speaking but uh this is why they're trying to be a little bit more assertive at the start here they, they can't really defend a full execution at this point they, they don't have the firepower nor the utility and magics oh he just makes such light work of them that's the lack of helmets and that silenced m4 yeah waiting for players to push into you that that's rough and that that's going to be two the round's already over it's an open a bomb site they'll be saving these weapons they haven't been but the hunt will be cool i can tell you that much they won't be letting them save these weapons easily Footsteps for Magic's already got himself a double kill. Doesn't have the bullets actually for the quad. Okay. Didn't get the reload in after the double kill, I believe. So Yeah, he didn't. That's bizarre. But you're right. The rest of them, they are trying to look for it here. Keto, you gotta be real careful. Oh, I think he didn't see them. They're the already gonna be going on the stairs yep. behind him. He missed the timing and Yeah, for Thomas, that's the end of him. Keto alone in the back here. I think he might have missed a bit of a timing as well. All right, they're already getting real close. He could have tried to escape to the market, but I think now he's a little bit in the open and they're getting dangerously close. They keep running at him. He's going to get the headshot on one and all right, nobody else swinging for him. He will just, no, oh. he dies right at the end. There was less than a second left. Three M4s to work with here. They tried this little contact play into all day before and they weren't ready for it. It was, uh... He turned them out to get a double kill when they tried it before, but now this is a full-on assault in towards the A-side. So now where they've been really tentative and running those slow defaults, complete change of pace. It's a bit of a masterclass here from Chopper. Condition your opposition. Make them hold on to the utility and fear the default, and then you just drop a beautiful set piece at the very start of the round. No one's even in the bomb side to delay you or put up a fight. Modo does find the opening okay. kill of the round, and Chopper's down to zero HP at this point. Thomas with a Famas. Oh, it actually pulls up the USP to take down Shiro. That's Auto interesting. Didn't even want to reload. This one looks almost unlosable. Two versus five here. Spirit, sure, they get the bomb planted, but now they have to defend it as well. Just Magic's left in a one versus ooh, three. He does ooh, get a ooh, couple ooh, of banging ooh, headshots, ooh, and they don't have a kit, so if he would have stayed alive a little while um, longer there, that's a really winnable round. I'm guessing they missed the smoke towards Palace there to land yeah. it in towards Shadow. That could have caught the best, I said, almost did. That could have cost them the round. Like, you don't want smoke in Shadow. You're not really doing that. Like, you smoke Palace, and he could have got like a double kill there. They ended up losing the round because of that. That would have been it. That would have been the backbreaker. Thomas, though, the Famous gets the dink, pulls out a USP. Yeah, I like that. And this is the moment Magic hits an absolute blinder of a shot there. Gets the double kill. One more would do nicely. Getting there, slowly but surely. They're just doing the same strat again, I love it. Why not? You managed to get through with like zero repercussions until the postman situation. And here we go. Once again, same strategy, Anders. We'll see if they can find the opening kills. It's gonna be donked when everything's up. Yeah, what an entry running. They still don't know the next use is down here. It's a double setup in the dark position, so it's possible the next use could come barreling out. He's gonna stop the bomb plant for one. Almost shoots his teammates in the middle of the chaos, but he won't. It's gonna be a double kill instead, and it's looking really good. Leg shot on the chopper as well, but that bomb is lost back there. It was never planted. Nexius could not have found a better timing, and now it's a three versus three. But Shiro up on the high ground. He might be able to find a free kill. It's gonna be Fiku to take down Chopper, and now it's up to Donk and Shiro. Don't underestimate them. Shiro still alive here. They know exactly where he is. They got him isolated in the corner and they'll find him. No respect for Thomas on that one. He takes him down and it's another round for OG. It really is. And that's quite a compelling finish for the plucky underdogs here. They post seven to five at the end of Mirage first half. That's probably the, the best scoreline they could really hope for considering all that obstacles and hurdles against them. But uh, let's have a look. So if you Moto open things up. Was that underpass going to get past Donk, though? 
a dangerous walk past there, but he doesn't get the kill either. Moto does go down, but it's Sontix to try and help out. Four versus four. Chopper is feeling the pressure. They're coming in from the other side here. Having to run a little bit further back. Bomb kind of close to being planted here. I think Thomas is in charge of it. Nexius will get another kill, and that creates a bit of space for them now. And they've got that position in the connector. This is really strong for OG. They should be winning this round. Chopper, he has the kit, and he's on 15 health, so... How do, you, how do you actually get that defuse in? Anything tags you, and that's going to stop the defuse. Well, he's dead. Might actually be an advantage. Now, somebody else can pick it up, but I think they're kind of realizing it's a bit too far gone now. How do you find these last players? It doesn't seem doable. Thomas yeah. will continue to hit the shots here. The kid's on the ticket booth as well. Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, I don't think this one's going to be working out. But Donk, well done. OG. That, that's more like it. It's assertive. So, six to seven scoreline. That's very interesting. I think we're getting into a, a more fun territory right about now. Oh, but don't. Don't do them like that. Out of all the things that could happen, the last thing you want is to get donked again. Yeah, these are, the rounds that, these are the rounds they were struggling with in Dust 2. Like, as soon as they'd win one, they would lose to the Desert Eagles. And Dong's already opened things up by taking down in-game leader, Thomas. And the CZ ready to swing it as well. That went by Biku, gets himself two kills, dropped by Donk in the end, but he's also silenced by Nexius. They've got the man advantage once more. MP9, doing a lot of damage out there. Spots another, ducking and weaving, trying to find the killing blow, and now it's just down to Shiro. He's got the scout. Two shots would do it, but looks very unlikely they're going to pull this one off as we go 7-7. Seven, seven. Unless, like, a miraculous double peek comes through and they miss their shots. Can't see a world where he even gets close to this one. So no, every second that goes by, his chances are dwindling. And he probably doesn't know that they're both that low either. So it's, it may, might be hard for him to sort of summon the courage to try and really go for that one. He'll end up going down, and that is great news for OG. Well played. They're making this a much more interesting game. It's It's been a little bit rough. There wasn't much really to talk about on, on Dust 2. It's just over so quick with, and... On this one, at least OG are making it a bit more respectable. Yeah, one con. That dog experience. <laughs> He's got to control your rage. I've actually got to communicate this yeah, kill. Uh, Sick, guys. Come on. Good job. Come nice. on. Full eco now. Except for Donk with the deal. <laughs> he really wants to do it more. If he finds Thomas, it'd be so funny. But nope. It'd be some revenge. Instead, it is Shiro in the back. So another deagle in play in the round. Going for the motions here. I, I just don't see a way to give this one up. Every duel should be going in their favor, and it continues to do so. Thomas with the low HP finds a nice headshot towards rival in game leader Chopper. Should be finishing up towards A. No CT resistance there whatsoever. So, job done. OG actually taking the lead here on the right. We're going to go 8 7 after winning that pistol. I still can't really bring myself to believe that this would be a victory on the map, but if it is, then uh, that is that would be really impressive for OG again. They are just heavily outpassed in this game, but they're starting to summon a little bit of strength, and you've got to admire that. Thomas is already low on health. Not necessarily a big deal that he goes down to the three versus three. There's no kit and nothing else really to work with here on the spirit side, so... Sure, they can try and make it expensive, but they should never even get close to winning this round at this stage. A lot of damage being dished out there towards the connector, and Iku probably in a very winnable position in the corner here. They've picked up an AK, and Sontix might just want to try and even run away with it. They're not defusing the spot. Definitely would have liked to have saved it. I don't think that's going to happen now. Let's be going for damage. They'll be buying up next round regardless. Gets a little bit uncomfortable towards the end there. They're just hoping like, there's no kid in play. It's uh, almost impossible that anyone would purchase that. But still, there it is. Yeah, three kills found. Not too bad considering that was pretty much a full eco. A couple of deagles into the mix. Strapbook. They're, they're using the Thomas system here. Keto not leading this tournament. And they've got a bit of a bonus round on this. The Mac 10 trying to sneak through. These are the sort of plays that you need to present if you're going to try and take down a team like Spirit, catch them off guard. Take these brave peaks. And unfortunately, the smoke being popped open grants two frags towards Team Spirit. Five on three. I agree, though. I do like that. The Mac 10 to, to pave the way that could have 
been working out, but they absolutely destroyed in this round. Chopper just swinging wide for a double kill. Bit of a statement that round. Yeah. Um, but like we said, that's the bonus round. Like you've, you've got the the Galils, the Mac Tens, decent spawn. You just want to try and see if you can catch them off guard and continue with the momentum on your side of the server. Did not work out. Team Spirit cracking open the smoke towards the steps and finding a nice double. Speaking of which, get a nice double here as well for Chopper denying the plant. And it's a clean sweep. Which is fine. It's still 8-8. Anyone's map. You get a plant here and a couple of kills. That would be nice. Chopper to defend with the AK-47. Throws the incendiary towards the palace position, but they have slipped the net somewhat. This could get a little bit uncomfortable, I suppose. And there it is. Two frags found. Yeah, hold the bone. One more headshot like that. It's Moto, and that's not a long range. That's just a Glock that he's actually found the kill on the chopper with. Suddenly two versus two, but they haven't picked up any rifles. What's going on? They've got so many kills, but it's all at such a great distance that he can't really recover any of the guns there on the T side. And that is a big issue. Grenades into the corner. Another Molotov lands right on top, and even though the area has been reduced, it's still going to be oh. burning out Moto. A nice shot on the one. A chance for a second next to us. If he hits it here, it'd be a miracle, and he can't quite find it. Magix will take him down instead. It's an unbelievably close round but it will be Spirit to pick it up. Okay. After the clean sweep against the guns. There we go. Spirit will snatch back the lead, but that's a great round from OG. They keep them very modest on the Team Spirit side. Shiro will have yeah. to reinvest the AWP. Speaking of which, Moda's got his as well. He's showing some much better form here on Mirage. He is top bragging for OG with 12 kills. No one really got going on Dust2 whatsoever. Bit of aggression being presented here, though, by Team Spirit. Checking all their angles, but Thomas is ready for his on takes with the cover and fire from short. It does allow a bit of leeway for the peak from the B apartment sits. It's a heavy damage, it's Fiku, and he will be dropped by Shiro in the end. But that does suggest the orbs on the other side of the map. So they're going to use that information and try and capitalize upon it. And actually get some decent territory under their belt in towards that A bomb side. But Shiro is so ready for the aggression in towards Fawn. Keeps them at a 4 on 2 advantage. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. That's pretty painful. This can still be won. OG obviously at a huge disadvantage, but there is a way. It starts with a flick from Moto. Headshot from Kido to follow it up, and in a really quick fashion, it's from a two on four into a two on one now. So still kind of doable here. Kido wants to get close, and he's ready for it now. Sprays, he thinks that defuse is already happening, but it's definitely not. Shiro's walking out in front. It's Kido to find him. A huge clutch coming out for Kido. Nice triple in the round. And that should get them fired up on the OG side. Had a rough game on Dust2, wins out a massive round, and we're going to see the force by coming in from Team Spirit. MP9s are out in full force. A couple of rifles and that signature Shiro AWP still out and about as well. We'll find Thomas to open things up once again. Yeah. 30 seconds left. So uh, you're not really in a position to really capitalize just yet. They've heard the smoke being thrown. Nice work from Chopper, but does get taken down. He had a good awareness as what was coming in there. And OG will continue to find advantages oh. here. But we've got Fiko and Keto down position. to the low HP. And this is the thing, you just don't have the time now to really clear out every crevice of the map. We just denied the plant here. Did he do it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Bomb doesn't go down. That's round. Still, like, he almost fumbles there. That was really quite close there. The bomb gets imagine? planted. They might actually end up losing that round. But as I mentioned, there was always going to be a tall order. Trying to reset the round when you're at the one minute mark. They need a miracle round to pull this one back. And to be fair, if they get it, then it's it's back on again. They haven't made a bad call. They've got information that the players are towards shore. Aggro being taken in B, and that's a nice great, that's a great couple of kills here. Chopper will try and answer back quickly. Shiro will keep them contained, but he's about to be dropped by the Tech-9, I believe. But he continues to fight close range with the Sniper. And, well, it's round recovered. It was looking very interesting for a split second there, but ultimately, Shiro dispatches of three of them and brings them one step closer to a 2-0 victory here on Mirage, 11 to 9. I'm Could be the final there. round here, unfortunately. It's uh, an admirable showing from OG, like they have not been embarrassed here on Mirage whatsoever. They've actually had no. Team Spirit sweating. I agree. Slightly they'll have to fight back through the lower bracket, but uh, see if they can keep things going here. It's a double kill with Zontix, looking for the triple. He delivers on all fronts here. Patrick in the bag. And now Fico and Modo to try and close things out. Sound cue given over towards Magix here. As long as he gets one kill, the round is pretty much guaranteed to be going in their favor. He does expose himself, but it's a nice little peek. 
one more play remaining, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's all said and done here. Admirable showing from OG, it has to be said. Much better than what we saw on Dust 2. But ultimately, it is the favorites of Team Spirit that dominate the series and go 2-0. Here at Blast of Four Groups.